Hi, let's see how to fix the iRacing not launching in the VR. Are you struggling to get an iRacing up and running in the VR? You are geared up, strapped on your headset and ready to hit the virtual track. But instead of roar of the engine, you are met with the silence and the static screen. Virtual reality should be an escape into the heart pounding world of racing, but the technical glitches can break the immersion and leave you stalled at the starling line okay so let's see how to fix the i racing not launching in the vr the first method is update your graphic drivers keeping your graphic drivers up to date is essential for the vr performance because outdated drivers can lead to the compatibility issues and prevent i racing from launching in the vr by updating your drivers you ensure that your system can effectively communicate with your VR headset paving the way for the smooth and immersive racing experience. Identify your graphic card model, visit the manufacturer's website to find the latest driver for your specific graphic card, download and install the driver, following the on-screen instructions provided by the installer, finally you can restart your system on the computer to ensure the changes take effect. Second method is check the VR headset connection. A proper connection between your VR headset and your PC is crucial. If the headset isn't recognized by your system, iRacing won't launch VR mode. Ensuring a secure connection can often resolve the issue. Inspect all the cables to make sure they are firmly connected to the correct ports on your PC and the VR headset. Check for any damage to the cables or the ports and replace them if it's necessary. Disconnect and reconnect your VR headset to ensure your clean connection. The third method is to verify the iRacing game files integrity. Corrected or the missing game files can prevent the iRacing from the launching in VR. Verifying the integrity of the game files can repair any damaged files and replace missing ones, which can resolve launch issues. Open the gaming platform you use to launch the iRacing navigator library to click on the iRacing. Properties, click on the local files tab and then select verify integrity of the game files. Wait for the process to complete and then try launching iRacing in the VR again. The fourth method is adjust the iRacing graphic card. Sometimes the incorrect in game graphic settings can interfere with the VR launch. Adjusting these settings to be compatible with the VR can help you to resolve the issue. Open the iRacing simulator on your PC in the normal, navigate to the options menu, then to the graphic settings, ensure that the VR settings are correct configured such as selecting the correct VR headset display. Save your changes and exit the iRacing then try launching or relaunching in the VR mode. The fifth method is disable the overclocking. overclocking your CPU or the GPU can sometimes lead to the instability in the games. Particularly in the VR, where the stable performance is crucial, disabling the overclocking can restore the stability and may allow the iRacing to launch in the VR. Restart your computer and then re-enter the BIOS setup by pressing F2, F10 or delete. Find the overclocking settings for your CPU or GPU. Set the overclocking to disabled or the default to revert any changes you have made. Save the changes and exit the BIOS, then boot the windows, then try launching the VI racing in the VR. The sixth method is optimize the open XR. Optimize the open XR for headsets that use the open XR such as Windows Mixed Reality. Optimizing the open XR settings can help you to ensure the I racing launches correctly in the VR. Open the open XR developer tools applications on your PC, select the developer settings, ensure that use latest preview open XR runtime in, is unchecked and custom open XR runtime is set to the headset's official runtime. Apply the settings and restart the PC before attempting to launch the iRacing in the VR again. The seventh method is disable the Steam VR overlay. The Steam overlay can sometimes conflict with the iRacing VR mode. Disabling it may reduce the likelihood of the conflicts and allow the game to launch the properly in the VR. Open the Steam VR settings, clicking on the small Steam VR window. 
navigate to the dashboard tab uncheck the box labeled as enable the steam via dashboard restart the steam vr and then try launching the iRacing again to see if the issue has been resolved the eighth method is uninstall and reinstall the vr software some of the simple steps what you can do is like you can just uninstall the vr software and then again you can reinstall it by downloading from where you are downloaded previously whether it can be from the official website or from the app store or the google play store the ninth method is contact the support of the iRacing if you have tried all other troubleshooting methods and if you still facing the problem you can contact the iRacing support team for further assistance they have the expertise they will help you to fix the problem and they will give you the better solution okay so that's all about this thank you